This is a very important day because in South Wales we are now launching and announcing this £2 billion worth of investment, European Union investment, in our communities in West Wales, the Valleys and in East Wales. Launched last week in North Wales, now here today and seeing the opportunities, already seeing the beneficiaries from the current programme, but seeing the opportunities for the future. And of course this is all about jobs and growth, tackling poverty, uh, enabling our communities to develop sustainable employment, energy efficiency, SME competitiveness and research and development. Today it's time for our formal launch of the Ireland Wales Cooperation Programme uh, for 2014 to 2020. And I must say it was great to come here today and I, I know the Minister shared a delight when we saw the St Thomas uh, Irish Dance School performing uh, downstairs. And I think they were... They... I think those, those young people and certainly their parents who we were chatting to we're so thrilled that you were visiting um, and, and to learn, and this is one of the important points, to learn about this link that we have. From an Irish perspective, the new programme will facilitate even closer cooperation across the Ireland-Wales maritime border with a continuing strong focus on the sea that links us, not divides us, the Irish Sea. I'm Morgan Rennie, I'm 19 years of age. I'm an apprenticeship in Morgan Edwards Hairdressers in Carmarthen. When I left school, I went to do A-levels. I followed my friends because I didn't really have a clue of what I wanted to do. When I first thought of an apprenticeship, I honestly didn't have a clue of what to do. I didn't even know what, there were, what options there were available. It is incredible how many different things that you can actually do. The list is endless. Always do something that you enjoy because the more you enjoy something, I think the more effort you put into it. I didn't realise there were so many opportunities and, and it makes you think what else you could achieve. Yeah, I thought it was really inspiring. Like, I didn't really know anything about it, but now it's really opened my mind. Well, I didn't realise you could have an apprenticeship with business, so it would be another option for me now. I think it was really good. It's offered loads of advice yeah. and I know now where, what path I can go down and how I can get there. It opens your mind to yeah. prove how like, far you can go. It is a fantastic building, it's a signature building, it is on a massive scale um, and it's pleasant to look at, it'll be pleasant to work in, but more importantly it'll be one of the leading centres for scanning of brains and other parts of the body uh, in Europe and among the foremost in the world. Well it's fantastic, I mean this is taking the whole Kubrick concept much further. I mean it, it's already a fantastic facility. The fact that the research undertaken by Cardiff University here on brain imaging is you know first rate uh, but now they can really go farther. Um, I'm so delighted to be here announcing money towards this. Uh, this is four and a half million pounds of European structural funds which is going to make a huge difference in terms of not just investing in this building and the new scanners which are 
for use and experiment and trial, but also for all the researchers who are going to be actually here in this space, um, multidisciplinary researchers who are going to break new ground. And it, of course, not just important for Cardiff and Wales, but for the world. Project Enduro is a design and development project uh, backed by the Welsh Government. The purpose of the project is to design uh, bikes such as this uh, for disabled persons but also to be used by uh, able-bodied athletes. It's not just a technical project, this is a project that uh, touches on society, widening participation in activities, um, creating more equality, um, addressing disability issues. Innovation has obviously been critical uh, for, uh, for the college and for the Welsh economy as a whole. Innovation is vital. Without innovation, the world just stands still. The level of the support the Welsh Government has given, certainly the college wouldn't have been able to be that speculative uh, with its own uh, funds. If I hadn't had the Welsh Government support, um, I wonder really when I went to meetings with uh, multinational companies, if they'd have uh, been able to back us as, as quickly as they have. There is a big potential there. The interest he got at the Paralympic event in Swansea from Paralympians was incredible. Previously, the hotel was basically focused on tour groups, so coach parties booked almost a year out. So as this last kind of five or six years has changed our economy, people want to book with much shorter lead time, so they're going to book on the internet and they're going to book it within a kind of couple of weeks of coming here. So that meant that our whole way of taking business changed quite dramatically over that time. And that was another necessity that we needed a better broadband system. Well, I'll just have to think well, the Gohania, the first of the broadband one, have a booking standing call um, at reception. Um, and the Drua and Gint are lots of people in Mach, which is an English daily of a great lot of quest, does not in backlog, and be it at the Nimogor Dalivene, a man lot house, and the one my lot of quest, a man Paup, who had English promoted your business on Facebook, and the Twitter about him and Paup, or the Bob, the Baba. The, the move was made because of customers' requirement to use Wi-Fi, but having gone through the exercise, it was less expensive than we thought it would be for a massive gain in terms of our business, so we feel it was well worthwhile. Uh, we're grateful to the Welsh Government for providing further funding for us from the European Social Fund. This enables us, or will enable us, to build on the work we've been doing with school pupils to encourage them into the STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, with a particularly fo particular focus on engineering. One of the projects here today we're, we're celebrating is a local team working with Sony on, on a packaging problem, which everyone will see later on. But uh, we were funded by the European Union previously and this new funding will allow us to continue with this work across Wales to encourage students into those important subjects. Well, in school I take mathematics and two sciences and we were approached by the technology department to participate in the STEM project. So our role as a team was to minimise the human element of the third party product that Sony produce, which is the Raspberry Pi. I do have an interest in engineering and I did have before the project and I thought that 
participating in the project would allow me to widen my knowledge of the engineering world. Um, it's widened my perspective and it's allowed me to see the link between science, maths and engineering and how the, the subjects that we're learning in the classroom actually have a role in the engineering world. Hello, I'm Ruth Marks, Chief Executive of WCVA. Back in 2006, WCVA decided to set up an innovative model to help third sector organisations work with people who are furthest away from the jobs market. We knew that we could make an important contribution to the ESF priority for increasing employment and tackling economic inactivity. Mm -hmm.